I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods for Beat Saber in 2025. This works in January, and it's probably going to work for the rest of the year. So, let's get on to the tutorial. First, you're going to want to download SideQuest. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to download SideQuest and get a tutorial on that. Once you've downloaded SideQuest, you're going to go into SideQuest. By the way, there's two methods of doing this. One is on a PC, and one is on standalone and PC. So, this does require a PC. All of these methods I do right now require a PC, unless you're going to download it from your headset. But for my case, I'm just going to use my PC. So, what you're going to do is you're going to download Quest. Okay, it's going to show up with Quest App Version Switcher. You're going to click this and click side load. I don't want to do that because I already have it. And then you go back to this and you go into quest app version switcher. And you're going to allow this. Always allow network. And then while this is loading, you're going to click on these three dots and then click on settings. Then you're going to click on release channels and then you're going to go to legacy 29.0 and you're going to install that once you're done you should be able to go into beat saber you you'll be able to go into beat saber it'll be like this um, then you should be able to look below your feet and it should say 1.29.0 that means you're in the player Then just log out Beat Saber. Then you're gonna go to Tools. Then you're gonna do Open ADB Settings. You're gonna click, um, you know, and then it will install Lightning Launcher, not Activity Launcher. But I personally use Activity Launcher, so I'm just gonna launch it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down, if you're using Activity Launcher, and you're going to click Settings, Settings, Launch Activity. Go down to System, Developer Options, go down until you see Wireless Debugging, then you're going to click it, and then you're going to go to this, and you're going to type in your port. So your port are, is these last numbers. So, and then you're gonna do your Wi-Fi pairing code. Then you're gonna click pair, and then it says paired success true. So that's that's good, and it should say um, the host. Then you're just gonna click out of like activity launcher, and then you're just gonna press this. And you're gonna press continue. Now that you're on this and you're all set up, you just go to downgrade. You find not the demo version, but the actual full version of Beat Saber. You click details. And you scroll down and look for 1.28.0. The version that we're downloading right now is the version without multiplayer because it's considered a legacy version. Skip to this timestamp if you really want Beat Saber multiplayer. Now that the download's done, you're just gonna click install version. Click install. You're gonna click start uninstall. You're gonna click OK. You're gonna click continue and install that. Then you're just gonna click install. Now you're just gonna, you know, X out of this. Or, now you're just gonna click continue and close. Then you're gonna go to Beat Saber again to check if it actually works. 
see it should be closer to you so that that shows me that I'm on the correct version but I need to just make sure I'm on the right version 1.28.0 then you're just gonna log out of Beat Saber because I don't need to go in it yet now we're gonna go on the PC to configure the mods and put all the mods in there all right now that we're on the PC all you gotta do is you gotta you're gonna search up quest board Beat Saber then you're gonna click on Beat Saber mod versions then you're gonna click use the Beat Saber mod page whatever click then you're gonna select the version which in my case it's 1.28.0 you're gonna go here and download all core mods. So, download it. Then you're gonna click any mod you want. All right. Then once you're done, you're gonna once you're done selecting all your mods, you're gonna click download all marked mods. And once it downloads, it's going to be a mod bundle. So this is core mods. These are in the mod bundle. Then you're going to search quest patcher. And you're going to click Lauren Fish, you know, modding tool. Then you're going to go to releases. And then you're going to click install for Windows or install for, you know, whatever PC you have. It also works for Mac as well. So I'm going to download the quest patcher.exe. Now that it's done downloading, you're going to click your uh, file for then you're going to go to Quest Patcher Windows, and then it's going to start installing. Install for all users, click yes, click accept, I, I accept the agreement. Click next, click install. Now that it's done, you're just gonna click next and click finish. And if you want, you can also pin this to taskbar. So then you don't lose it. Now that it's loading, you're just going to click ADB Allow. Then you're going to find your quest form. Then you plug in your headset runner. And you grab your headset. Now, when you grab the headset, you're going to put it on and turn it on. So now that it's on, you're just gonna go here. You're gonna plug it in. Then you're gonna click always allow from the computer and then you're gonna click your notifications and accept the USB debug. Then what you're gonna wanna do is now that it's all accepted, you're gonna click try again. And it's gonna load the quest patcher. Then, once it's done loading, you're going to click Patch My App. Now that it's done, you're just going to click OK. And you're just going to click Browse. And you're going to select the core mods that you downloaded. Now it should be adding all the core mods. Now that the core mods are all the way downloaded, you're going to click Browse and click on the mod bundle that you put the mod the mods that you wanted. So these are not necessary mods but mods that can actually work. I will be sharing my song list in a Google Drive so go check out that link in the description or in the pinned comment. Now that you've downloaded all your mods that you ever want, you can go test them out. So you can just click the X on this, 
and check it out. Restore app thing comes. Once you've done that, you can easily check if you have the mods. Now, on to the PC only version. You're gonna search up this. I'm gonna search up mods before Friday. Just like that. And you're gonna click the GitHub page. Now that it's done that, you're gonna click, you're gonna put your headset on, and make sure it's on, and then plug it in, and accept the message again. Now that the message is accepted, you're gonna click connect to quest. You're gonna click quest to. Now if it shows up with this error, all you gotta do is you gotta go to, you gotta click windows R, and then you're gonna click you're gonna type in this and click okay now that it's killed all of it you're gonna click quest 2 and you're gonna click paired then you're gonna click allow you're just gonna click mod app and while this is downloading we're going to go to beat saber mod versions the same quest board thing so you're just gonna search up quest board and then go to the get help page do that you're gonna click use the beat saber quest mod page then you're gonna go to 1.37.0 and then you're gonna download all four mods right there then you're gonna install whatever you want I'm gonna all right now that I got all of my mods that I really want I'm going to click download all of marked mods. Now that it's all done, this is for 1.37.0. Now that all of the mods are installed, you're just gonna click add mods and you're gonna upload files. So I'm going to upload all the four mods right there. Now that it's installed. Then I'm gonna click the mod dumble. Now that I've downloaded all the mods, now it should say all the mods that are here. I'm gonna click out of this, and you should have the mods. So, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time. Bye.